Police, the Independent Policing Union of South Africa, is warning against budget cuts within the SAPs. It says that these cuts will have a negative impact on operations, state security and overall crime prevention. Now, the union says if government is serious about fighting crime, the budget must remain as is. Its Secretary General is Mpo Gwinika, and he joins us from Pretoria. A very good morning uh, to you, Mpo. I'm, I'm quite surprised, actually, that you're not asking for an increase, but instead you're asking for the budget to remain as is. My understanding is that uh, the police services is already under-resourced. Should you not be asking instead for an increase? Well, you are correct that we should be asking for more. Uh, I think the uh, budgetary processes have already taken place and the police have already been given the budget. We are in the second quarter of the year um, and, and the budget um, which we have requested for has been given to the SAPS. What is worrying us now is the circular that is coming from National Treasury which says that all departments must now cut uh, on the expenditure. And uh, because of the, the weaknesses which we have seen in the SAPS, uh, you know, in the past, I may just give you some few incidents. Uh, the incident, uh, the July 2021 unrest and case that's between KZN and GP, uh, the July 2022 mass shootings between again GP and uh, uh, KZN, and the July unrest uh, the, in 2023, where truck uh, uh, bannings took place in our country. All of these issues um, indicates that the proactive part of policing is not there. Now, the budget that we have been uh, given, it has to address some of these issues. We have seen the president have declared that uh, employment of uh, police officers, which uh, needs to replace the problem that we have, in the shortage of human resources and the buying of vehicles. Those programs are already in place. If the SAPS was to be asked to do the cuttings, we may see some of these uh, 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 gains which we are about to, to make uh, being uh, uh, cut as well. You, you mentioned a, a number of issues, and one of which is the human resources problem. There are about 6,000 or so, according to, to this report, policemen actually leaving the service annually. What is this attributed to? There are various reasons for this. Uh, there are police officers who are not happy and they resign. There are police officers who uh, die, which is normal attrition. You have police officers who are dismissed from the service uh, for various reasons. So, uh, so, so those are part of the issues which are an attribute of seeing South African police service losing about 6,000 per year. You mentioned that you as a police are currently not proactive, which means that you are reactive then. Tell us about the impact that the load shedding has actually had on, on policing. We have seen a spike in crime, and, and many of those that we've been speaking to over the past few days right here on ENCA are saying that crime is increasing, specifically because of, of load shedding. How has that impacted you? What have you seen from the policing side? Uh, I think uh, the issue of uh, uh, electricity uh, ha has been coming for quite some time. And I remember uh, 10 years ago, we discussed the issue of a station in Pala, in Parliament to say that that station need to be electrified. If they don't have electricity, they need to get genera uh, generators. Uh, the South African police service had a problem of not maintaining the generators which the stations uh, had. And, uh, they become, uh, uh, you know, not usable anymore because they were not maintained. But the other thing that happened is that uh, during the period of load shedding, just in the beginning, uh, one would have foreseen that uh, uh, because load shedding it's it's it's, it's a planned kind of uh, uh, of movement of uh, you know electricity, uh, you know from you, you you know the the current sort of. Uh, Coal, that coal kind of electricity into greener energy. So government knew about these things. And then SAPS should have been given an opportunity 
to buy generators and feed them to each and every police stations so that police stations are not closed when there's no electricity. But what is happening now is that our members are expected to leave the doors wide open. When it is dark, we know the security of police officers is very key today. Um, uh, the president spoke to this issue at uh, a union building during the police commemoration that uh, the minister of police and the national commission of police should work together to make sure that police are protected when they are on duty. So the issue of electricity and load shedding has got a negative impact uh, on service delivery to South Africans, and it also poses a huge risk to police officers who are on duty. Before I let you go, Mr. Kunika, we mentioned about the number of 6,000 or so uh, individuals who actually leave the, the, the police services for various reasons. But issues of mental health are also very key here. What is the current morale within the police uh, force or police services? Do you feel that you are able to actually deal with the criminality in, in the country right now, specifically considering uh, the lack of resources that you have? What is your mental state? What is the morale? The, the policemen and women are working under very severe condition, working conditions. Uh, they are, uh, they feel that they are neglected when it comes to the issues of uh, uh, promotions within this, uh, the, the, the service itself. They feel that management are not doing enough to protect uh, them. Uh, and, 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 you know, uh, they, they, they also feel that the public is not... Uh, uh, they, they don't care about them. Uh, uh, but these things, remember, you, you have police officials who, are, um, uh, who, who don't view policing as work. They view it as a calling. They will persevere. And every day they wake up in the morning, they still go and do what they, their calling says they should go and do. Yes, the environment is not conducive for them to can work, but they still continue and do what they're supposed to be doing. Mpo Kwinika, the Independent Policing Union of South Africa's General Secretary, thank you so much for the insight into uh, the, the mental health as well as the very real challenges that the police services are facing. They are also about to experience a budgetary cut, and we know that's across the board with Treasury having announced uh, the dire straits that, that the country is in. But I wonder, for essential services like policing, should those not be beefed up? There are certain areas that I really believe we cannot afford to compromise on as a country, and policing is one of those, specifically given where we are at.